Welcome back, movie fans. The heart of DreamWorks' premium animated franchise beats once more as they have brought out the last animated movie of 2022 and one of the best with the long-awaited sequel, Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, as we find our hero discovering that his passion for adventure has taken its toll. He has burned through eight of his nine lives. Having only one life left, Poos sets out on an epic adventure with old friends and new to find the mythical last wish and restore all his nine lives. As a frame of reference, I love the original Puss in Boots movie. I find it terribly underrated and it's actually my favorite film in the entire Shrek franchise. I also think this sequel came out way too late. It just lost the spark of that first film, the spark of the franchise, and I just don't know what took them so long. However, despite releasing way past the height of popularity of the original film and even of the Shrek franchise as a whole, this sequel manages to bring us right back into the fantastical world of twisted fairy tales, feeling more connected and livelier than ever. With its characters, the universe, and a distinguished sense of humor that made it all so beloved across generations. Puss in Boots The Last Wish offers a genuine sense of excitement, naturally feeling bigger than the original, while also acting as the next organic step in Puss's life, or lives. Grounding the character with a personal narrative and fleshing him out better than ever before, Antonio Banderas is, once more, absolutely terrific in the role. He has a lot to play with here from a script point of view. This is yet another winning performance as everyone's favorite talking cat and for me, his best in this role. We get to understand his vulnerabilities, but his humor still feels as sharp as his sword. The wit and the banter between Puss, Kitty Softpaws and their new friend Perito, who is absolutely adorable, is equal parts daring and endearing, making their characterizations naturally feel richer and revealing surprisingly heartfelt elements to each of their characters that play significant parts in the story and the directions it takes. It is also super exciting. This is a serial pulp adventure film with classic sensibilities that while playing with the familiar plotting and structure, it plays into the strengths of that formula. It essentially plays out as a big budgeted and wonderfully imaginative episode of Wacky Races, which I love. Morally corrupt characters coming from all sides, all vying for their own selfish desires, while at the same time, the film never forgets to play into the upside down fairy tale angle, which this franchise always thrived at. Goldilocks and the Three Bears are scene stealers and a wonderfully heartfelt group, too. The brilliant timing of Florence Pugh, Olivia Coleman, and Ray Winstone, yeah, this cast is stacked, elevates an already smart script that truly highlights everyone's comedic strengths. Every character is in their own way working through their anguish and fears to find something hidden about themselves. It is not new or earth-shattering, but it adds layers to the script and the characters when maybe it didn't need to be there after it had been so long since that first film when the popularity, the hype, the fandom had died down a bit. So the filmmakers deserve merit for not coasting and actually caring for the narrative and its themes on mortality and life-affirming messages to cherish those we love. What also elevates the film is the breathtaking animation. It is so uniquely stylized, so vibrant, so colorful. Every shot is fluid with movement, like a comic book come to life, with a blend of 2D and 3D enhance one another stunningly. There is not an ounce of wasted space in a single beautiful frame. You feel the kinetic energy of each movement, look, blow, and of the gorgeous action choreography, making every fight amazing to behold. Even the backgrounds just pop with depth while the characters are intricately detailed. There is a rougher design choice for the characters, as if they were actual pencil drawings, and it ends up making them all feel more real and alive than if it was just regular 3D, like 
the Shrek movies, and the original Puss in Boots. It is very much inspired by Spider-Verse, but it manages to be its own thing, have its own unique feel and flow, quite literally like an old illustrated storybook bursting into existence, delivering bold, high-octane action sequences so frantic and fast and furious. They are an absolute jolt of adrenaline and a joy to watch. Puss in Boots The Last Wish has some of the best action sequences of 2022. Whoever thought that? was possible. Maybe DreamWorks, because they continue their legacy of putting out sequels that rival their original works, if not surpass it. With this and this year's The Bad Guys, another underrated film, the studio feels to have finally gotten its groove back. Yet there are some misfires in The Last Wish. With so many characters gunning for this mythical star, essentially making the film a frenetic chase, it can feel slightly busy at points. A few elements and story threads don't really connect in a satisfying manner, and because you have so many characters, a few side journeys feel undercooked or even incomplete because so much of the focus is in our beloved Poos. There are just too many characters at points. There are many ideas that this film wanted to play with, and it brings in a ton of the humor, quite daring humor for a film like this. Some of the best Shrek jokes don't even compare to what this film goes for at points. And despite this humor being genuinely funny and enriching some of our lead characters, it reaches a point where the film doesn't really know how to juggle so many ideas. And so it rushes a little bit to combine them all and wrap everything up. It's just a bit messy in how it reaches its conclusion, but for the bulk of this journey, it is still a thoroughly enjoyable, exhilarating ride. So as I dive into my final thoughts on Poos in Boots, The Last Wish, it is time for the fun part where you let your voice be heard in the comments below with your thoughts on Poos in Boots, The Last Wish, the original Poos in Boots, and your ranking of the entire Shrek franchise. This is actually the first Shrek film to come out during the existence of my channel, so I have never reviewed another Shrek movie, but I have reviewed a ton of movies from this year, 2022. You can find those right up here. And with this film, I'll be finally able to rank all the animated films of 2022 that is coming out very soon so if you want to see those reviews if you want to see that ranking and all the end of your list there are coming out right now and still to come out if you want to talk movies and tv this is the place to be so consider clicking that subscribe button and you won't miss any future conversations on your favorite movies and TV. Posts in Boots The Last Wish is a welcomed return to the Shrekverse and the exciting lives of the franchise's best character. This send-off to 2022 animation is an exciting, clever, lively pulp adventure bursting with boundless visual creativity, jaw-dropping animation, sharp wit, and absurdly charming characters. It has style, it has laughs, but more importantly, it has heart. I'm giving Puss in Boots The Last Wish a B+. That is the review for the last animated film of 2022. Thank you so much for watching. There's a ranking of all the 2022 animated films coming very soon. I hope to see you there. Big thanks to my channel members for always supporting the channel. And I'll see you very soon on the end of your lists and more reviews. So until then, love each other and love the movies.